be re reviewing uh, these two books, uh, The Graveyard Book uh, by Neil Gaiman, Part 1 and Part 2. And so let's move on with the video. So moving on with the reviews of this book, I initially bought all the two volumes, like it had two volumes, so I thought of buying both of them. So you can see the really nice cover. Uh, that's this is volume two. And you can see the little of, little bit of budging there. Uh, I got it from Flipkart, and this is volume two, volume one and two. And I was really hoping uh, to get the volume two like in a nice copy as volume one arrived in very nicely. So the cover is same for both of them, and. Here you can see the front page. Uh, it's really lovely to see th those golden letters. I, I think it's really beautiful on the cover and on the inside of the book. So this is volume 1 and just look at the cover. It looks so beautiful. And here you can see all the awards the, this book got. Winner of Harvey Esner Award. And it's illustrated by different illustrator. Uh, as you can see here and it's by Bloomsbury publication uh, and here you can see how beautiful the art has been depicted now moving on with the inside of the book it's really lovely the pages are really nice and glossy and it starts with the story of a boy whose family gets killed and here you can see the boy and thief kills and somehow the boy manages to escape from the gra from from his home and crawls into the graveyard uh, here you can see how, how he meets uh, the people in the graveyard and and here you can see how bluish like the ghosts in the graveyard have been depicted as blue so somehow the thief like manages to follow the baby back to the graveyard but he escapes like the ghost scare him away from the graveyard and here you can see there's one character Silis who becomes the guardian angel of the boy Silis is actually a Dracula and you can see the change in pattern as we move along with the story uh, initially it was bluish more of bluish and here you can see more green and orangey stone and this boy then becomes friends with this girl and as he grows up and then he takes her to a secret chamber which he finds very interesting and he hangs out with this girl and he finds this scary place and somehow they 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 manage to maintain their friendship this boy gets tutored by this uh, werewolf called miss lipuscus and initially the boy doesn't know that she's a werewolf uh, after like when he's kidnapped by ghouls miss lipuscus comes to her rest uh, to him like to rescue him and the story is really nice and it tells how the boy learns his lesson he, he like constant uh, constantly he's told not to go out from the graveyard but he he, he somehow manages to escape the graveyard and he faces the consequences as you can see Lysilis in this book is a uh, Dracula and everyone in the graveyard thinks well about this boy because he's been raised dead and again the, he gets a new friend after his human friend moves out this boy's human friend uh, he gets a witch and he wanted to get a headstone for this witch so he goes and sells this stone you can see the red stone and somehow he gets tricked by the humans so he again comes back and the witch saves saves this boy so <laughs> moving on with the volume 2 book uh, it's similar the cover is very similar to the volume 1 book and 
the story continues. Mm. Uh, the boy's name is Nobody Owens. I forgot to mention that. And uh, somehow nobody uh, gets into school. As he grows up, he has to go to school because as a human being, he has to learn things. So he gets tortured by two people in his school, like two rowdy boys, as you can see here. And a boy and a girl and they are after him so somehow nobody owens tries to scare them away he calls them into the graveyard and he scares him away like scare the two child away because they were irritating him they were kind of a bully so here you can see the beautiful artwork i was really appreciating the artwork as we move on further into the story and nobody owens further further on he tells silis that he would finally and like finally he would like to find out about the people who actually killed his mom and dad so uh, that is how the story goes and you can see the various tone here like the bluish greenish tone comes back later in the story there is a nice huge change in the book and the artwork is really amazing and it, I really liked how the artwork was pictured into this book like, though the fonts were a bit congested I thought there was no room for fonts like dialogues written but it was very well managed and the illustration was really nice and beautiful and most more, moreover i really enjoyed the book as whole and the story i think neil gaiman the graveyard book is like there's a written version of it the graphic version of it came on later and I think the graphic version of it should be read. It's really nice and beautiful. And I don't want to tell the whole story. But you have to read the book to find out how he... Uh, or if he doesn't... Or if he does. Finds out about the killer of his parents. So here's the end cover. It's really beautiful. And I really loved how the movie has like book has captured every aspect of the story i really loved it so here are the two books i hope you guys like the review of it and do let me know if there was any flaw thanks for watching and do subscribe bye bye